Power Boating in Paradise TV. This is Stu Jones, and we're joining members of the Florida Power Boat Club for the 21st Annual Key West Poker Run. While the Thursday teams are getting settled into their slips and checking into their hotels, the Key West Poker Run Village at the Comp Republic Seafood Company is alive and bustling with activity. In the heart of the historic seaport and just two blocks off Duval Street, this venue continues to operate as Poker Run headquarters with an in-water sponsor dock that hosts over 20 power boats on display and an entire city block of Poker Run sponsor displays from all the major players in the performance marine industry and national consumer brands. Whether you come by to dine at the Conk Republic's 300-seat restaurant or pick up a Poker Run souvenir item or negotiate the purchase of your next powerboat, the Poker Run Village is open Thursday through Sunday and has something for everyone. And you don't have to wander too far to enjoy a cocktail or entertainment at fun spots like the Schooner Wharf Bar or any of the fabulous clubs and restaurants just two blocks away on Duval Street. And in the Key West Poker Run Captain's Kits, we even gave out coupons and swag from our new sponsor, BurgerFi, which had just opened a new location on Duval Street, offering savory burgers and fries and a full bar. Having fun in Key West happens on all levels, whether you're hanging out down on Duval Street or on a private yacht like Living the Dream. This 86-foot Lazara yacht was docked at the Conquer Public Seafood Company and our Norwegian poker run teams played host to a big Thursday night bash, complete with their own private DJ that kept them dancing all night long. Friday morning arrived with yet another beautiful November day. And the best cure for a Key West hangover is to just get out and enjoy the historic sights, get some fresh air, or take a boat ride in the local waters. There's so much to do in Key West, and Friday was the perfect day to get out and explore all that Key West has to offer. But don't leave town empty-handed. Visit the Poker Run Village for a Key West Poker Run souvenir item. 5.30 Friday, uh, what a great day on the water today. The third run in to Key West. Smaller group today, about a dozen boats all together. Immediately got over here to the Conquer Public Seafood Company in the Poker Run Village, and this place is going off. We've got about 20 or more boats here on display at the sponsor dock. Poker Run Village is just unbelievable. Uh, what a great display of high performance hardware here. I haven't even had a chance to walk through it yet. I just got on the dock here a few minutes ago, but hundreds and hundreds of people here at the Conk Republic Seafood Company for the 21st annual Key West Poker Run. It just keeps on getting better. This is Kevin Skiba with Mercury Racing. We're here at the uh, Florida Powerboat Club's Key West Poker Run. Hey everybody, it's Jessica Gamara with Ilmore High Performance Marine, and I just wanted to uh, give a big shout out to everyone at the Florida Powerboat Club. Um, Joe with Sensation Powerboats. We brought down a 34 CCX to, uh, to Key West with the Florida Powerboat Club. I'm Scott Price and I'm here at the Florida Powerboat Club's Key West uh, event, the premier event in all of Florida or the East Coast for that matter, maybe even the country. I'm here in front of our 1650 race motor. This is a competition engine, but it's based on our same platform for our 1350 and 1100. Hi, my name is Tommy Hofstetter. I'm with Cheap Performance. We do uh, high performance marine engines, uh, turbocharged, supercharged, fuel injected. It's been an amazing weekend. We have boats running in the races. We've got pace boats. We've got customer boats in the poker run. And we got our full rig out here with our V10 725 and our V8 570 and a variety of other gifts and gear. Uh, we've been attending this event now for six or seven years. It's an excellent event. The exposure for us as a manufacturer is incredible. Uh, we're here debuting a new 53-foot uh, Kentucky high-tech trailer that's a display vehicle designed with a quarter of a million dollars worth of accessories. As the nighttime fell, the underwater lights began to glow and the streets of Key West began to come alive once again. Now that all three of the Poker Run groups had arrived in Key West, that's 150 Poker Run teams, over 750 Poker Run guests, not to mention offshore racing teams and power boating enthusiasts from around the world. The town is more than sold out, it's wide open throttle. Friday night, the Hardin Marine stage was set for the Sponsor Appreciation Night, which is our first scheduled event at the Poker Run Village. As always, we enlisted the support of Samantha Landale, who recruited some pretty ladies to help us make those presentations. There are over 30 major sponsors that support this event every year, and we really appreciate their support coming back to help us with this great signature event. 
We hope you enjoyed part three of our 21st annual Key West Offshore Poker Run presented by Tanteo Tequila and starring the members of the Florida Powerboat Club. In our next episode, we'll feature part four with highlights from the Saturday Fun Run to Boca Grande, which was attended by powerboats, cruisers, and luxury yachts. We'll also feature the Saturday Night Poker Run Party, where we'll award this off lease only Ford Mustang convertible to one lucky team. This is Stu Jones. Thanks for watching. We hope to see you on the next episode of Powerboating in Paradise TV.